Hey, what's up guys? So Amanon here and welcome to another video. So this is going to be the round two feature match for the 12th edition of my online Discord tournament. And this is going to be featuring Don Quiligny. Uh, I apologize, I probably completely butchered that. Uh, but they're playing Odd Ice today and their opponent is going to be Don Bongo on Fano Knights. So if you guys are interested in playing in the next iteration of this tournament, uh, definitely go ahead and check out the link to my Discord server. You can find the link to that in the description box below. We may be implementing prizing in the next one. Uh, stay tuned for that. But yeah, uh, if you're interested, feel free to join our Discord server. We'd love to have you. But anyways, let's get started with this matchup here without any further ado. So we're going to be seeing the Odd Ice player take the RPS win, and they're going to opt to, I presume, go first in this matchup. So the opening hand for the Odd Ice player going first is going to be Sky Iris, Duelist Alliance, Double Revolution Dragon, and the Dark Worm. So I don't think this deck has a lot of spaces for like defensive cards in general, so it's fortunate that they went first. Um, able to set up a probably pretty decent board. Um, this is one of my favorite road decks, actually. I enjoy this deck quite a lot. Uh, I don't think they got that much recent support, apart from uh, this card in Rise of the Duelist last year. But uh, yeah, this hand looks quite strong for going first. Eager to see what they are going to end on here. And then the Phantom Knight opening hand going second is going to be Torn Scales, Fusion Destiny, Tour Guy, Kagamucha Knight, and Ash Blossom. So there's one hand trap here, and then a lot of really strong like engine cards in general. So this should be a pretty good game one. So we're going to see Odd Ice Revolution Dragon being activated in hand that's going to discard itself to pay 500 and then add an Odd Ice Monster, or Dragon Pendulum Monster more specifically. Uh, so that is going to go ahead and search for Odd Ice Arc Pendulum Dragon, kind of the uh, heart and soul of the deck. And then they're going to normal summon out Dark Worm and use the effect that's going to grab a copy of Gate Zero. So this card actually has a bunch of effects that most people don't use in other Pendulum decks, but they're quite relevant here in this deck. So on the field, you can target another face-up card you control, destroy both that and this card on the field, and then you special summon any Dragon Fusion or Synchro Monster from your extra deck. Uh, its effects are negated, attack defense becomes zero, and then it can't be used for a Synchro or XC summon, but you can simply link it away. Uh, also notably, it puts itself back in the Pendulum scale if it gets destroyed by card effect, including its own effect, so that's quite nice as well, just a free way to get a, a zero scale if you need it. And also it's a level seven, so you can overlay for things like uh, Absolute Dragon and stuff. Um, so yeah, you can use this to like help make Heretic Seal easier, and there's like a lot of cool plays you can do with this card. So uh, yeah, this card is quite nice. Uh, they're going to scale 0, and then they're going to activate Sky Iris, and then use Iris to target the gate 0. That's going to search a copy of Phantasma Dragon. So this actually is one that I have to read because I haven't played this one uh, that often. So in the Pendulum Zone, you can discard a card and then add a face of Dragon Pendulum Monster from your extra deck to your hand, and that's hard once per turn. And then its monster effect is that if you have two cards in your Pendulum Zones and a face Odd Eyes Pendulum Monster in your extra deck, that's weird that the eyes is not capitalized here. Um, I wonder if that's a dueling book error or if that's actually the card text. Um, but you can special summon this card from your hand and then you're locked out of your Pendulum Summon for that turn. And then during damage calculation, if this card attacks an opponent's monster, you can make that opponent's monster lose 1,000 attack for each face of Pendulum Monster in your extra deck during damage calculation only. So this one was a bit awkward because it is a level 8, so it's kind of weird with the uh, scales most of the time. But uh, I, I won't give any spoilers right now. I already watched this match, but this is uh, quite unique for some of these synchro plays that this deck can access, and we'll kind of get to those later. But it is a 0 scale, which is nice. Uh, they're going to scale it, and then they're going to go ahead and activate Duelist Alliance for a Pendulum Sorcerer. And then they're going to scale up the Arc Pendulum Dragon, and then Pendulum Summon 1, it looks like. So they're going to target the Phantasma Dragon to activate the Gate Zero effect. Then they're going to summon that Shooting Riser Dragon. And then that triggers the Art Pendulum Dragon since an Odd was destroyed. So that's going to go ahead and Chain Block with the Gate Zero so this can't be Ash now. Um, so that's going to go ahead and put itself back in the Pendulum Scale. And then they're going to summon out Dissolver. And then Dissolver's effect is going to go ahead and fuse with the uh, Scale since it can use the uh, Pendulum Scales as material. So that's going to go ahead and make a Vortex. And then those two are going to be linked away for a copy of Phratic Seal. So it's going to be a Seal Vortex with uh, some number of follow-ups and a lot of floating potential. Um, so that's quite good. Like if this gets destroyed, our art can just bring it back, uh, which is nice. Uh, and then Seal also is a very good follow-up play. So pretty decent. Uh, they chose not to Ash during this entire turn. I wonder if it's just to see what the deck does, which is fair enough. Uh, they're going to draw another copy of Tour Guide for turn. And then they're going to normal summon out the Tour Guide, uh, chain blocking with the Kagamucha Knight, uh, quite strong there. So that's going to bring out Graph, and then going to link away into a copy of Karabini that triggers the Graph effect, so that's going to summon out Seer from deck. And then from here, Karabini is going to activate, that's going to mill a copy of Ancient Cloak to the graveyard. 
And then those are going to be linked away for a copy of Rusty. So that triggers a Seer to bring back the Carabini. And then it looks like on summon they're going to activate the Heretic Seal. So that's going to bounce away Rusty. And then Seal Effect in Graveyard is going to be Ash. But they will use Vortex Dragon as Chilling 3 to negate the Ash. So they're going to put back Dissolver. And then Seal gets to Resolve. So that brings out Aether actually, which is a card we haven't seen in quite some time. But it natively fits in Pendulum, which is pretty good. So when this card is no more special summoned, you can target a monster in the field and banish it. So they're going to go ahead and banish the Carabini right here, so that way they can't get into another copy of Rusty. But they already have Fusion Destiny, so they're going to go ahead and just activate it, sending the Destiny Heroes to bring out a Destroyer Phoenix Enforcer. And then Battle Phase, they're going to attack over the Aether, which is at zero. And then they're going to activate the effect of the Phoenix Enforcer. And they're actually going to target the, not target, but they're going to pop the Vortex Dragon and leave this on field. And that's actually going to prove to be a pretty big misplay because the Art Pendulum Dragon, like I mentioned before, can just bring back the Vortex. And then Vortex, when it's special summoned, doesn't have to be a fusion summoned or anything. Uh, it can bounce a face-up attack position monster to the hand. Uh, so that is going to be quite good since the Phoenix Enforcer didn't pop itself. So now it just gets outed for free. Uh, and this was properly summoned due to the Dissolver earlier, so this can be brought back off of the arc. So, um, yeah, probably should have either popped itself, uh, or more realistically, just gone for the Arc Pendulum Dragon, since uh, even though Sky Iris is up, uh, obviously Enforcer doesn't target, so that's quite good. Uh, next up in Main Phase 2, they're going to go for a Cloak, and that's going to go and add Boots. And then they're just going to pass. So, we're going to see a Topic Fusion Destiny from the Odd Ice player, so both players on this package. Uh, this looks pretty good. Revolution could just search a low scale. Uh, there's also Iris still up, and this should just pretty much be game. So they're going to begin with the Revolution Dragon. That's going to discard, pay 500 to search for Persona. And then Persona Dragon is going to be scaled. They're then going to just Pendulum Summon 2 here. They're going to trigger the effect of the Sorcerer targeting the Persona, as well as the Dark Worm. So they are playing multiple copies of Gate Zero. Again, this is a pretty strong card in this deck, so understandable. And then they're going to pop the uh, Persona Dragon to actually grab a copy of Joker. Uh, I actually totally forgot that this could search all dice. Uh, this card was uh, banned for a long time until... Uh, I mean, it wasn't, like, unbanned recently, but, I mean, not too many people, like, play this deck super often. Like, I haven't really touched this deck since uh, Revolution Dragon came out, and I believe Joker was still banned at that time. Uh, somebody can correct me if I'm wrong there. But this does trigger the Arc Pendulum Dragon since Persona was destroyed, so it's going to summon out Phantasma from deck. And then they're going to normal summon the Joker and then search for Odd Ice Synchron. So this is a pretty cool card uh, that is searchable, of course, as a tuner. And also in scale, it can turn your other monsters into tuners. So they're going to target their Pendulum Sorcerer to make it a tuner. And then they're going to Link Summon into Halka Fibrax. And then Halka Fibrax gets to summon another copy of Odd Ice Synchron. And then they're going to Synchro Summon for the Baroness, or Baron de Fleur, as it's now called. Yeah, so this being level 8 was a hindrance before because it couldn't be Pendulum Summoned, but now that you can summon it, uh, alongside Auto Synchron, um, obviously Arc Pendulum Drag making it easier. Uh, making Baroness seems pretty good. <laughs> so then gonna activate Fusion Destiny, and that is going to be the end of game one. So uh, yeah, not too explosive of a turn one board. Uh, maybe if there was a better chance to use Ash Blossom, if there was an earlier chance to use Ash Blossom on turn one, that could have changed the outcome. Like maybe on Sky Iris or Duelist Alliance. But we're going to go ahead and move on to game two. Fam Knights are going to choose to go first in this one. Uh, their opening hand going first is going to be Nibiru, Fusion Destiny, Seer, Kagamuchi Knight, and Imperm. So this is pretty much just going to be Fusion Destiny with hand traps, because uh, you can't really go for any PK plays here. And then the opening hand for Odd-Eyes going second is going to be Dark Worm, Foolish Burial, Dissolver, Pendulum Sorcerer, and Odd-Eyes Synchron. So this is primarily for Dark Worm, I'd imagine. Um, and there's not really an immediate way to get to Arc Pendulum Dragon, although you can uh, roundabout search it with Pendulum Sorcerer and a Joker and then get Arc that way. Uh, but going second, there's obviously like no hand traps or any mechanisms to go second specifically. So PK is going to start off with Fusion Destiny. That's going to go ahead and summon out the Enforcer. Then they're just going to set Imperm in the pass. Uh, we're going to see Phantasma drawn for turn. So they're going to begin with a Foolish Burial, that's going to mill a copy of Dark Worm from deck to Graveyard. And then they're going to activate Dark Worm, that's going to summon itself, and then search for a Gate Zero. They have a lot of engine cards to work with, so I'm curious as to how they're going to break the board. They're going to then Normal Summon Odd Ice Synchron, so they're not going to go for the normal Joker play afterward. Uh, I guess right now they're not really 
they don't really have too many high skills. I guess Dark Worm could still allow Pendulum Sorcerer to be summoned, but it doesn't seem too great. Uh, this is going to go for Metaphys Horus instead, which is a really, really cool card. So it was made with an effect monster and a Pendulum monster, so you can apply both those effects. Uh, so yeah, they're going to go ahead, and I assume they're going to go... Well, I guess it doesn't really matter how they chain it, if they Imperm or, yeah, Phoenix of Force or it. So yeah, they're just going to pop it. And now neither of those effects are going to apply. Uh, they're going to activate Phoenix Enforcer and Graveyard. And then from here, they're going to activate Dissolver, and they're going to actually use the effect to fuse some hand. So they're going to get rid of the Dark Worm and the Phantasma Dragon. That's going to summon out Vortex. And then they're going to scale up the Gate 0. So now they have a 0 and a 4 scale. So they can bring back the Auto Synchron if they wish to. And they are going to do that. And this on field allows you to target a, uh, let's see. Yeah, you can try to part in a pendulum zone, special summon it, and then you can synchro with the this monster and whatever you bring back. So this can be, actually, I think Dissolver is level 8 as well. Yeah, so this can also be a Baroness play right here. So they're going to go ahead and synchro away. Uh, this gets banished, and then going to go ahead and bring out the Baroness. And then that's going to go and target Imperm to destroy it. They're going to chain Imperm. They're obviously just going to let that resolve. Then Battle Phase is going to attack for 55. And then in main phase two, they're just going to pass. So choosing not to Nibiru here, uh, obviously Vortex would just negate that. Uh, they're going to draw a Lancia for turn. Uh, in the draw phase, actually, uh, they moved to standby by accident. But in draw phase, going to activate Dasher. So that's going to go and summon out Lancia from hand. Oh, yeah, they fixed it right there. And then Phoenix does come back. So Phoenix can trade with the Vortex since it is losing 400. So that's not too, too bad. I wonder what the play is going to be afterwards. I guess you can then, like, target the Baroness. It doesn't matter if they chain it or not. Either, like, forces they negate or um, not. And then you can just bring back the Phoenix Forcer anyways. So yeah, Battle Phase is going to attack over Vortex. And then they're going to main phase 2. Be thinking for a bit. Yeah, then they're going to activate its effect. And then Baroness is going to negate it. And then they're going to activate the Graveyard effect. And then they're going to pass. So they're going to draw a Revolution Dragon for turn. And then in standby phase, Baroness is going to activate. So this can actually bring back the uh, the Vortex. So, yeah, they're going to go ahead and bring back Vortex after the Phoenix Enforcer came back. So that's pretty interesting that um, they chose to bring out Enforcer like, before like waiting to see what they did. I'm pretty sure... Those are both activate in separate windows in an open game state in the standby phase. Uh, somebody can correct me if I'm wrong there. But yeah, the way that this works out is that Vortex can now force Phoenix Enforcer because uh, it's going to try and balance it. And then if they chain it, then uh, they can negate that as well. So yeah, Vortex is going to activate. They're going to chain Phoenix Enforcer and then they're going to chain Vortex. So you're going to put back Dissolver. And then they're going to activate the... Uh, I assume they activated Phoenix Enforcer. Again, I can't tell because they're probably in Discord right now. Uh, but I I would assume that Phoenix Enforcer was activated. I know they've been using the Declare button, but I uh, can't really confirm because uh, they could just be saying it in chat at this point. But anyways, we're going to see Revolution Dragon being activated here, uh, which was the top deck, I'm pretty sure. So that's going to go and search for Arc Pendulum Dragon. And then they're going to scale it and then Pendulum Summon 2. That was a good top deck, by the way. Uh, Pendulum Sorcerer is going to trigger as well as the Dark Worm, so they're going to grab Gate 0 and then destroy the Dark Worm to add Synchron. They also haven't Normal Summoned yet, which is quite good. Uh, they don't really have a... Yeah, they don't play targets to bring back. Usually this Normal Summon effect doesn't come or come up. But yeah, they can now Normal Summon Synchron. I wonder if they play multiple Metaphys Horrors, or if they're just going to go Halka Fibrax here. Uh, they are going to go Halka Fibrax, so that's going to summon out a, another copy of Auto Synchron. And then they're going to activate Nibiru here. And since Vortex already was used, yeah, that's going to that's gonna be resolving. So they're going to go and summon out the token. If they wanted to, they could have chained Lancia just to make this token smaller, which maybe was worth it. But yeah, I'm uh, going to go ahead and I believe they already Pendulum Summon as well. So... That is going to be the end of the turn. Right, they're going to draw Ragged Gloves for turn, and this should be enough to get the PK engine rolling.
So, oh, I guess they didn't declare Phoenix Enforcer in standby. I did watch this match, but I kind of uh, forgot the majority of what happened. I only remember the Baroness play because I'm like, wow, that was cool. But, okay, so they're going to Kagamuchi Knight on the normal summon of Ragged Gloves right here, and then they're going to link away into the Karabini. They're going to activate Seer to summon itself, and then they're going to Celestial to draw two. Oh, they bring back Enforcer. Okay, so I guess they did declare it, and then they forgot to resolve it in standby. Uh, that's kind of the disadvantage of not being able to see what they are actually communicating, but I guess that is what happened. So they're going to draw into Crossout and Ancient Cloak. Uh, Seer and Carabini will be linked away for the Rusty. Uh, did they did they use Carabini? I don't think they did, because they made it with these two, and then they summoned Seer from hand. Yeah, so they actually just didn't. They just forgot to use Carabini. Uh, they're going to go for Rusty, and then they're going to send Torn Scales, and then set Fall Blade. I mean, this should be game anyways, because they know the card in hand is uh, Gate Zero. So there's no interruptions. Uh, they're going to go for Ragged Gloves, that's going to send Sword. And then they're going to trigger the Torn Scales off that. They're going to activate the effect, they're going to pitch Ancient Cloak, and that's going to send a, another Fog Blade. Cloak's going to activate to add a copy of Silent Boots. They're then going to special out the boots, and then they're going to go for the Break Sword. Rusty effect, that's going to go and pop the Arc Pendulum Dragon. And then Break Sword gonna target itself and the token, and then Odd-Eyes will admit defeat. So we're now gonna move on into game number three right here. Odd-Eyes is gonna be, of course, choosing to go first in game three, and their opening hand is going to be Odd-Eyes Synchron, Duelist Alliance, Dark Worm, Terraforming, and Arc Pendulum Dragon. So really, really good hand for going first again. Uh, just a lot of ways to. This is actually really consistent because there's so many searchers for like Arc Pendulum Dragon. Like, in the past, you would even play stuff like Summoner's Art, but you don't need to anymore with, like, a, what is it called? A revolution out and stuff. So there's just a lot of consistent ways. And, like, Arc Searchable off Duelist Alliance, too. There's just a lot of ways to get to what you need. So solid hand. And then the opening hand for PK going second is going to be Lancia, Boots, uh, Tour Guide, Imperm, and Veiler. Actually, I didn't think about this till now, but I'm surprised that they have a Lancia here post-side, uh, both last game and this game. I didn't even consider that one. This does not seem that great, though. I'm trying to think of, like, what this is denying. Um, really, the only banish effect that I can think of off the top of my head is Aether, which is likely going to be used in your own turn. Uh, so this isn't live there. And then there's also Auto Synchron, which banishes itself. And, like, if you answer that, then they're, they're happy with that. So maybe they still have anything better to decide, which is reasonable. Uh, you don't really expect the Odd-Eyes matchup. Uh, they're going to go ahead and normal summon out Dark Worm here. Uh, they're going to chain Veiler in response, and then they're going to Terraform for Sky Iris. And then they're going to scale up Odd-Eyes Synchron and activate Duelist Alliance for Pendulum Sorcerer. They're then going to scale the Arc Pendulum Dragon, activate Sky Iris, and then activate it to pop the Synchron. So that's going to go and search for Phantasma. Interesting how they... Actually, they just need a low scale, that's fair. Um... And this could be brought back with the Synchron to go for the Baroness, yeah. Because usually like, the low scale used to just be like only Persona, but like this being a co-option with Synchron is nice. Uh, Arc Pendulum Dragon triggers off that destruction effect, so that's going to go and summon a Bizolver. So they can now scale the Phantasma, and then Pendulum Summon 2. They're opting not to use Pendulum Sorcerer here. Uh, they're going to Dissolver, Chain Imperm to that, and then they're, gonna, they're just going to hard make Baroness, not even going to use the Synchron effect. Valid. And then they get an overlay for Abyss Dweller. That is pretty good against Phantom Knights for sure. Uh, they're gonna pass here, they draw a Wielder for turn. So through two hand traps, they set up Baroness uh, Dweller. And that is going to be quite debilitating. So they're actually opting not to Dweller right away. They're gonna go ahead and normal summon out Silent Boots. And then summon out Psychic Wielder. Uh, yeah, afraid if they get hit with um, a hand trap and toy guide. Or not hand trap, a uh, Baroness on Tour Guide they just still use, which is what would happen. So yeah, doing it this way instead. Um, it looks like on the Summon of Silent Boots they wanted to Dweller, so that's fair enough. They're just playing around, I guess, a top deck Gamma, perhaps. Uh, they're going to go ahead and special out the Wielder, and then Overlay for Break Sword. And then they're going to go Battle Phase, make Dweller. Most PK lists don't play Zeus, but if they did, that would be pretty decent with, like, Downward here. And that would be very, very strong. But, oh, they're just going to pass on this. So, yeah, it is looking like game for Odd Eyes, for sure. Uh, they're going to drop Warfage Sloth for turn. So this is another Heretic Seal target, I would assume. And that is you know quite solid if you go first and are able to set it up. So they have Iris to pop. They have 
arc. They have Baroness to pop the break sword. They have a Pendulum Summon. They have a lot of ways to just go for game here. Uh, just need to not play into Nibiru. Uh, Sky Iris is going to pop the Phantasma. That's going to search for Persona, and then that's going to trigger the arc. So to summon out another Phantasma from deck. And then scale up Persona, activate Baroness, and then Pendulum Summon. And they're not even going to, you know, they're not even going to complicate things. They're just going to go Battle Phase, and that is going to be the end of the match. So Ada is taking it 2-1 to one up against Phantom Knights. Um, again, the Lancia, I don't think, was a super effective card. If they sided it in, maybe they're main decking it and just didn't have anything to take out. Um, which is, like, valid, or anything to replace it, rather. But yeah, I think this is a cool showcase of Odd-Eyes. Um, they haven't really gotten, like, direct new support again since, I believe, the Revolution Dragon in Rise of the Duelist. But, uh, I mean, <laughs> you see Baroness came up a lot there. Like, that was cool to see. Uh, the level 8s, which were previously awkward because you can Pendulum Summon them, but this is, like, fair enough as a scale 0. Uh, and then you just, like, abuse the interactions with Synchron because, like, if you scale, you can bring it out, too, which is nice. Um, and yeah, that is quite solid, I think. So this deck like has ap access to like rank fours and uh, heretic seal, which we all know is crazy, um, and just a whole bunch of floating effects via the arc as usual. But yeah, that's gonna be it for this match. So thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, uh, please be sure to leave a like and comment uh, down below any feedback or suggestions. And until next time, I will catch you in the next video. See you guys.